Hey, what up, y'all? What up, y'all? This your boy, LC the One, baby. LC the One to be exact, that is. A.K.A. Illmatic One Two Four, and not the mother sucking gang numbers, man. But my actual jersey number I wore when I was in high school, and my warm up jerseys on the back of my mother sucker chair right there. And hey, what's up to my LC Nation, man? My LC gang and my LC crew. What's going on out there in the level? You did, you did, but hey, man. We back. We back with another mini reaction video, man. I just did this whole reaction video, man. Walking through Washington Park. Got the actual screenshot and stuff, man. For real, for real. And I don't know what happened to the video, mysteriously. This is crazy, man. But anyway, man. The life of YouTube, man. This is crazy. But anyway, man, look. This is my reaction to Stephen A. Smith. Because I had the topics mixed up at work, man. I had it mixed up at work. I thought Scottie Pippen was saying Michael Jordan was an assassin. No, it was Stephen A. Smith that was saying Michael Jordan is an assassin. And that Michael Jordan uh, is a better assassin than LeBron James. And LeBron James is nowhere near an assassin like Michael Jordan. Okay? Say what? Shut up now. Michael Jordan went through three different eras. All right. He came in. All right. Number one, in the Bird Magic era. Eclipsed that era. Then, after he got through with them, he went through the Detroit Pistons, Isaiah Tama era. Barkley, Drexler, Elijah Wan. Unfortunately, he didn't get a chance to play Elijah Wan. Okay. Then, he finished it off, man, with the Utah Jazz Super Sonics. All right? And came back for a brief spell, man, just to get some change so he can get his business off the ground. That's the only, why he, that's the only reason why he played for the Washington Wizards. All right? Now, Stephen A. Smith was saying to Ryan Hollins, former NBA player, didn't play that much in the NBA, but I remember him. But he was telling him some facts. He was like, look, man, LeBron is nowhere near Michael Jordan as an assassin. Nowhere near him. Okay? Michael Jordan destroyed and demoralized players after he got... Scotty Pippen and groomed him, it was over with for the rest of the league. He took no name players and made them famous. I got a whole bunch of them I can name. All right? But Michael Jordan went through Hall of Famers. And that's why we, this is what Assassin made. Destroyed Magic Johnson and Kareem. I think Kareem was on the team, right? Or Vlade, one of them was on the team. Destroyed them, right? Remember that? Yeah. Then he did the same thing. First, he went through the whole Eastern Conference. Isaiah Thomas, the bad boys, the champions. Then he went through Bird, champion. All of them, man. Dr. J, all of them. All right? They don't give him his credit for that. These are Hall of Famers. Ain't too many Hall of Famers in the LeBron James era right now. It was a bunch of them in the Kobe Bryant era. So, he went through the Eastern Conference, killed all that. It only took him, what, three, four years? Really? Five years, really. Because Stephen A. Smith said he came right in the door destroying people. And he broke his leg, but, you know, they was beating him up. It was a different game back then. All right? So, after he did Magic... He did uh, the Portland Trail Blazers and Charles Barkley. Came back out of retirement after, you know, he went through a spell. Had tragedies and stuff going on in his, in his, in his family. Came back to basketball in the New Jack era. Went through Shaquille O'Neal. There was a whole bunch of other good teams in the Eastern Conference, too. Went through them. 
right? Then get back in shape, destroy the best competition that was out there. And Mike said he only did it because, you know, it was competitive. That's only that's the only reason why he came back. And he came back the last time to get some money so he can get his own company. You know? And still the only player I know that got his own company. Pretty much. But anyway, man. Contrasting to that, Ryan Hollis was saying, no, LeBron James is the it. You know, he's an assassin. But Stephen A. pointed out, he hasn't won like Mike to be considered as an assassin and what he did to players. Great players, Hall of Famers. He, LeBron really haven't played nobody that great yet because the league is so watered down now. It's easy. You know, they made the, they changed the rules. They, they had made up rules for Michael Jordan. They double teamed him. I watched it. I'm in Chicago. I watched this stuff, man. So they still debating and talking about this stuff, man. And it don't make no sense for them to keep comparing Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, and LeBron. Okay? Because everything got easier after Michael Jordan. Even for Kobe Bryant. They weren't touching him like that. Couldn't do none of that stuff, man. Come on, man. Let's keep it real. But... Max closed it out, man, and he gave the facts. He was like, Michael Jordan went through 60, three 60 teams. Three uh, teams that had 60, well, two in that, in that one era that had 60-plus game wins. Portland, and I think it was uh, L.A. or something like that, or Charles Barkley. You know what I'm saying? And he went through them like it was nothing, okay? But, yeah, we should have watched this video, man, because I got the video, and I guess that's what they want to see. They want to see the... Analyst talk. So we finna watch it. Come on, let's go over here and watch this video, man. You did. The sun shining through and stuff. Messed up my whole damn spot. Man, I was finna do something else. Can't do nothing, man. It's... Okay, let's go, man. Says that Michael and Kobe aren't the player that LeBron James is. Last time I, I checked, mm -hmm. LeBron passes better. The sun he's blaring. Hold on. He's taller. He's stronger. And I get it. The questions are with the mentality. And this is the knock that people have on LeBron James. We touched on this yesterday, is that he's not a killer. He's he's not going to go down fighting. He's not going to do all the little things. Hell no. In last year's That's NBA shit. Finals didn't prove he's that. He's making $100 million. I don't know what does. I, 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 I'm confused. I'm Mike didn't make that. That's why Mike was killing him because he was trying to get that bread. Just one quick interruption. Listen here. Watch I Steve. know I'm going to correct you. I know you meant the playoffs as opposed to the finals because he got swept in the finals. Okay, it was, it was Golden State. Please don't cut the camera on. Please. He ain't shot about shot. Shot. Nonetheless. Todd than the mother. This is something that LeBron James developed. We saw. So if the only knock is to say that he's not an assassin, he's not a killer, he doesn't bring it game after day, I'm looking at these numbers and these stats and these stats, and I'm confused. Can we run the stats? Can we look at some stats right now? Yeah. Well, because well, LeBron James... Is a better player, clutch wise, than Michael Jordan. You look at this. He's showing forty-seven percent, five more, five buzzer beaters to three. So if MJ is the goat, oh, about we're just talking about buzzer beaters. Now watch how they cleared up. Watch this. Watch how Stephen don't clear it up. LeBron has played because he hasn't taken time off in many more playoff series. A lot of those are likely lower leverage games, okay. and there are many more games to choose from. Those are counting numbers. Okay. There's no argument you can make that LeBron is more clutch than Jordan. Amen. Numbers. Amen. I got him. I got him. <laughs> you know, you know, you know, I should have security remove you, but, 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 but I won't That's do me. that. Instead, what I'll take into consideration is this. We're not going to bring up the six NBA Finals, six NBA Finals MVPs, never get to a game seven because never allowed it. We're not going to get into any of that because that's, I mean, we know. Michael Jordan won six NBA Finals and never lost one. Who did he play against? LeBron James. Who did he play against? LeBron James. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. LeBron James has lost six NBA Finals. That's number one. Number two. See, one of the things that I pay attention to is who you want to you just brought up competition. Mm -hmm. No disrespect. But him blowing through the Toronto Raptors? Really? Um, um, uh, we could bring up, you know, uh, I could bring up losing to Joel Atlanta was cold. In the I could bring up him bringing in, in, beating an Indiana Pacers team with an up and coming Paul George, but, you know, with other guys. I got all of that. I could bring up him winning the finals, Ray Allen coming to the rescue. I could bring up him losing the NBA finals with eight. 
points in a game in the NBA Finals. I can bring up the fact that Michael Jordan went seven consecutive years averaging plus 30, being the number one option, and oh, by For the real. way, didn't have this. this I swear, Mike. With him. I'm just going to make the right play. Mike was sitting down in the third quarter, him and Pippen. 96, they blew people out by 2030. I swear to God. I got it on tape. I got every game. But when we talk about him against Jordan, Find me a convert, and I'll leave it to Max with this. I swear, what annoys I get me about get people game. who are supportive of LeBron James over Jordan is they look at him now. And I'm saying, what did it take for you to get there? What he developed, and it took him a decade to do. Michael Jordan walked into the league that way. And that's what, but Scotty Pippen used the analogy, the word clutch was not right. It was I saw those tapes I got for a million dollars. I got 96, 97, and 98. All now, games. And when he first Brown came back. Kobe. Kobe yeah, well, 45. Yeah, got in head. Yep. I'm not talking about. I'm not. On VHS. I got, I got boxes in the corner. Oh, I swear for God. By the way, Bird's so slept on nowadays. LeBron's better than those guys. LeBron's obviously way better than anyone today. I'm talking about MJ. Everyone, fall back. By every analytic and most advanced measure, and LeBron uses these numbers, MJ didn't use these numbers, LeBron's prime is not quite as high as MJ's prime. I'm just talking about the numbers, the most advanced analytics, but now let's talk about the story of the whole thing. You know this nonsense that LeBron had to learn to get by the Pistons? Do you know, the, I'm sorry, Jordan, do you know the first time Jordan played with another All-Star? It was with Scottie Pippen. That's the first other All-Star he ever played with. That season that Pippen made the All-Star team, he took the defending champion Pistons seven games. You know why he lost? Yep. Pippen had a migraine. Played 42 minutes, scored two points. So once again, Jordan was without another All-Star. The second highest scorer on the team, Horace Grant, had 10 points. Jordan went for 31, 9, and 8. Okay? So that so Jordan didn't have an All-Star. It's the only reason he didn't knock out the Pistons the first time he had an All-Star. Next season, Pippen's an All-Star again. Now Jordan's crewed up. He never again didn't win the finals in under seven games. Now, think about that for a second. Undefeated under seven games. You bring up the competition. Mm -hmm. When Jordan came back for the second three, Pete, the Orlando Magic had gone to the finals Three. the previous season with Shaq and Penny and Grant hey, and all those. I'm gonna get a converter, man. I'm gonna start uploading these videos, man. Them, a 60 win team. I say what a VHS destroyed to DV six games, converter. A 64 win Sonics team. To say nothing of the Stockton Malone Hornacek 62 win Jazz that he beat in 1998. What are you talking about? No. How, okay, okay, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. None of those series went seven. How do you guard LeBron James? None of those oh, series went oh, 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 you not answer? How do you guard LeBron James? How do you guard Jordan? No, no, no. Answer this. Because when you guard the Broncos, it takes about five yeah. defenders. Five defenders. Then why is it Jordan? Draymond, Durant. Okay. Who got a Jordan? All right. Howard hold Isley. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Jeff Horton. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. Hey, All right, rookie. Enough. <laughs> We've heard enough from the rookie. All right? And Max, you've learned well. Congratulations. <laughs> Here's the deal. We'll close out this segment by saying this. Michael Jordan, first championship, beats Magic. Second championship, Drexler and the crew. Third championship, Barkley, Marley, Kevin Johnson and them. Goes into retirement, comes out of it, beats Stockton and Malone twice, beats the glove Gary Payton with Sean Kemp before he became Sean Clark. The bottom line is, when you look at Michael Jordan and you look at the game, the way it was played back then, to the softest cotton out tissue mm -hmm. circumstances. They used to trap now, Mike, I swear. He still oh, scored 32. Oh, 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 82 games a year, 40 minutes a game, both sides of the that's facts. Now, y'all heard it from the analysts. Y'all heard it. I did this one too with Scottie Pippen. But uh, yeah, man, that was facts, man. Mike was the greatest, man. Period. Flat out, hands out. Flat, uh, flat out, hands down. There should be no debate because of what Mike went through, and then he took the lead, the lead to a whole nother level, man. I watched it. I got. Matter. I'm. I'm gonna find me a VHS, a V, uh, VCR. Uh, DV, I got the camcorder right there where I could dump the tapes and stuff like that. Man, y'all make it available. I'll grab it and I'm telling you, I'll get my new computer. I'll be uploading it to the internet on my channel and on a, well, yeah, on my basketball channel. Yeah. And man, I'm telling y'all, I got every game. 90, it started off 94, 95 and he came back. 
I didn't get the whole 93 thing because I was a shorty and I didn't really went into it. But that, when he came back, I was glued to it, I swear, because you had to be in that time to understand what I'm talking about. I ran in the crib. Everybody was running in the crib. I got every game on tape. My baby mama would tell you. I, I edited every, when the commercials was coming, I would pause it. And I'm telling you, I got every damn game. 95, 96, 97, 98. Yep, every game. And playoff games. I think, did I get the playoff? It was on WGN. It came on Channel 9, and it was free. We watched every damn game for free. Now you got to pay for that. But anyway, man, yeah, Jordan was the greatest, no doubt, man. Stop debating, man. Mike was the greatest, man, period, for what he went through, man. They beat the man up, and he had the tragedy and stuff and came back and dominated. Came back and dominated. Ain't nobody greater than Mike, man, period. Y'all going to pass him statistic-wise, but we talking about, man, what he did to players that made him great. LeBron was getting flexed on. He getting flexed on by young shorties, man, Kevin Durant and them, you know. The young boys sticking their chest out. Mike crushed everybody, man. Everybody. Bird, all of them. Come on, man. Got to keep it true. And came back in the New Jack era and was an all-star. That's crazy. But anyway, man, at 40, 40, same thing. I, I followed his old. But anyway, man, forget about him, man. Hey, this your boy, LC the One, baby. LC the One to be exact, that is. AKA Illmatic One. Two foe, and not the mother sucking gang numbers, man. But my actual jersey number I wore when I was in high school. And my warm up jersey is right there on the back of my motherfucking chair. Like I always say, man, keep it pimping. And avoid sipping because they will get the motherfucker that if you sip on that motherfucking banana peel. You dig what I'm talking about, man? And like I always say, man, touch my rubber guy. We're going to probably shout out to my LC Nation, my LC gang, my LC crew. I need y'all to like this video. Share this video. Step back. <laughs> Comment on this video, man. And most importantly of all, man, subscribe to my YouTube channel, man. And turn the notification bell button on. Ding! To get more exclusive dope content from Pimp Play Against Hustle. All about mine, baby. I'm tired of saying. But like I always say, man, trust me, guy. We're going to five, a four, a three, a two, a one. I'll be back with the vlogs and stuff, man. And the LC1 TV show, man, when it's get cooler in the crib. I ain't putting no air conditions on because it's not needed. You did. And say what's up to Mr. Green. Green, baby. Green, baby. Bye. Yeah. All right, we're going to holler at y'all later, man. Church in there.